It was not a great night for English football last night. Tottenham were one of only three teams still unbeaten in this season's Champions League and in the blink of an eye, they were knocked out. It was 2-2 going into the second leg at Wembley and Spurs were on top for most of the first half. Sun was the danger man and eventually broke the deadlock in the 39th minute, shanking one in at the back post after missing a number of earlier chances. The Korean has been involved in 22 goals in 23 appearances at Wembley this season. That's 14 goals and 8 assists, which is even more than Harry Kane. Allegri then changed Juve's shape midway through the second half and suddenly the tables were turned. Two goals in three minutes from Juve's first two shots on target shattered Tottenham's hopes of making the quarter-finals. A harsh lesson in the art of being clinical. Higuain and Diabala were the goal scorers, but the man of the match had to be Cialini, who was a man mounted at the back. Celebrating tackles as if he'd scored a 30-yard screamer. You cannot help but love the Italian's passion. Harry Kane so nearly brought it level in the dying seconds he rose like a salmon, nodded it down, only for the ball to agonisingly bounce off the post. Lamella should have just thrown his body at it, but didn't react quick enough. Cellini dedicated his performance to David Astori with a touching tribute in his post-match interview. An emotional night which turned out to be brutal for Spurs fans as they became the first English club to fall out the Champions League this season. City hosted Basel after whooping their asses 4-0 in the first leg. That's now 21 games unbeaten at home and over two years since they lost at the Etihad in the Champions League. Basel obviously had no chance, right? Guardiola fielded a young team as expected, including Phil Foden, who became the youngest English player to feature in a Champions League knockout fixture. Jesus put the hosts 1-0 up in eight minutes for what looked to be another thrashing. But the Swiss soaked up the pressure and despite only managing 22% possession, came from behind with goals from Ilunasi and Lang to bring City's winning streak to a not so abrupt end. As I said, it wasn't a great night for English football. However, it wasn't all doom and gloom, City still progressed to the quarterfinals after winning 5-2 on aggregate. Elsewhere, we like a strange story on Court of Side TV and we've just about got time for one more today. Hemel Hempstead player Sanchez Watts had a red card reversed earlier this week in a bizarre referee mix-up. He was booked against East Thurrock United for kicking the ball away, causing the ref to ask for his name. After repeating it three times, the ref gave him a second yellow for dissent and he was dismissed, only for his teammates to explain that his name was Watt and the decision was reversed. You what, what, what? What, what, what? That's it for now. Get yourself subscribed to this channel and we'll see you when you're older.